Hello, and welcome back to the Interdrone Podcast, your 30,000 foot view of the commercial drone industry. My name is CJ Smith. It is Wednesday, December 9th. Joined today with Mike Peel, Chairman of Interdrone, and our special guest today, Sharon Rossmark, CEO, founder of Women in Drones, um, longtime partner of the show, really great global organization, um, pr just promoting education and, and um, in the drone industry and, and getting women involved on a global scale. Um, like I said, a longtime partner of the Interdrone Conference and uh, really excited to have her on today. So um, Sharon, thanks so much for being here. If you could give the audience maybe a brief um, overview or introduction of, of yourself and maybe how you got into the drone industry and then um, how you uh, eventually started Women in Drones and, and kind of grown that organization. Well, first of all, thanks guys for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, as you know, as you said, we're a longtime partner. So I'm always happy to, to jump on one of these sessions with you all. Uh, so about myself, uh, I'm in the business sense and I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business executive, a commercial drone pilot, an international speaker and a children's book author. Uh, in terms of the organization, uh, it launched actually after um, after I started attending several industry conferences. So this goes back to about 2016. I noticed that there were very few, and in some cases, no female speakers or, and or panelists. And initially the organization was launched as a platform to support women in the industry, to facilitate women making business connections and to grow their networks. And at first I thought it would be a great platform for just the women here in the United States. However, it quickly grew to reach international markets. And we've connected with women in nearly 20 countries now and are seeing growth with men also joining our network. And let me add that the intent was never to be exclusive of men, but instead to make sure everyone knew that women were actively engaged in the industry. And we have a saying around women in drones now that uh, the spelling of women means that the M-E-N within the word represents men. In other words, men are also welcome. Great. Men included. <laughs> men included, yeah. Yeah, yeah and so and talk about the Women in Drones um, luncheon. So this has been held at um, Interdrone Live conferences the past number of years. Obviously, um, virtual 2020 event will be slightly different. Um, we'll talk about the Career Connect that um, we're, we're working on with you guys um, for, for this year's event. But talk to us a little bit about the Women in Drones luncheon. Um, that's been at uh, that's been a staple at a lot of the interdrone conferences. Yeah, so our relationship with interdrone started with an offer to announce our women to watch award uh, honorees during the live luncheon, as you call it, the women in drones luncheon. Uh, and since then, we have been asked to host the women in drones luncheon to not only include the announcement of our award honorees, but also a women's business panel and networking. And each year, the the process and the programming has really involved in. In fact, I saw some post online last year saying that this is one of the best venues for women to attend because of that opportunity. So Absolutely. I thank you all for that partnership also. Great, yeah, and, and, and talk to us a little bit more about the um, awards. So the Women to Watch Global Awards, <clears throat> you know, looking through the finalists, you mentioned in, uh, Women in Drones, a global group, um, the five finalists from Switzerland, Brazil, Australia, United States. Um, you know, it's really cool to, to see just such a global community. I know a lot of us in the drone industry, we know it is a global community and it's, and it's great to see you guys kind of honoring, um, you know, women from all over the world. But talk to us a little bit more about the Women Who Watch Global Awards. Um, you know, how did that start and um, different types of criteria and, and kind of the goal for, uh, for that initiative? I sure. just want to interject real quick. I mean, because the Women to Watch Awards is so amazing to see just some of the stars in the industry period right if you if you even dropped women from uh the title and it's just people to watch these are the most amazing people uh doing the most amazing work and and i, I love how you have the categories broken out so you can really get that unique feel muting for the dog well, sorry <laughs> okay. well well thank you i i appreciate uh, the, the recognition uh, so when it comes to new technology, disruption fuels the game. And in the UAS industry, there was not a single platform or venue that consistently recognized or featured the contributions of women within the industry. So we launched the concept with the intent of letting everyone know that women were, or are, I should say, actively engaged in the industry and contributing to shaping the industry. 
Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit about the uh, awards. The nomination period launches every year in March, and that's to uh, as part of the celebration and it coincide with Women's History Month. So that's why mm -hmm. March is the magical month for us. Uh, in fact, 2021 will be the fifth anniversary of the Women to Watch Global Awards. And needless to say, we're very excited about that and looking forward to partnering with you all for that fifth anniversary. Uh, in terms of uh, the process, each year, our core group of strategic advisors identify the categories to be recognized for the year. And we also select a panel of judges to make the final selection, which I actually like because based on what you just said, Mike, there are some amazing people out there. So therefore, I don't have to get involved with selecting because that is that is very hard. I give our part. yeah, it, I give our judges a lot of credit, and I, I got to tell you, it, it literally comes down to a point difference in the points uh, process. Um, but anyway, it's a global award. Therefore, the nominations do come in from around the world, and with each year we've. Tr we have tweaked the categories to specifically reach the depth and breadth of the areas within the industry. So it, so it's designed for that. And also it's designed to evolve. And so we're very proud of the fact that we have a diverse range of trailblazers, innovators, and business leaders that we've recognized through the years. And, and we just continue to see growth in it because it, the interest continues to grow. Mm -hmm. Are you, are you at all surprised at how, um, how big Women in Drones has gotten and how global or, or at this speed? Or is this something that you always kind of thought you, you'd get to this point? Because, um, you know, just talking to people in the industry, every, everyone knows Women in Drones and they speak so highly of the organization. Um, I know we had Talinda Larson on the podcast, spoke so highly of you and, and your work. Um, did you ever expect it to get to, to kind of where it is today? Uh, honestly, I can say that uh, I didn't have the vision for this type of growth, but uh, this is what happens when people come together and collaborate. Mm -hmm. And it's through that collaboration process that we've been able to see the growth that we've been able to amass. So thank you for that support right. also. Right. What, what do you think is the key factor for for your growth? I, I'm, I mean, if I was to give my personal take, it's you have uh, like an innate ability to just find connections and introduce people uh, is it that simple or is there a lot of kind of other uh, strategic thinking happening behind the scenes? Uh, there is some strategic thinking, but uh, quite honestly, it is about networking and it's about networking that benefits others. Uh, so it's not always about our organization as much as, uh, and people will tell you, the one of the first questions I'll ask you, let me know how I can help you or how can I help you or how can we help you know, further your business interests? Uh, so it's it's about collaboration. It's about the effort. And then somewhere along the line, if we need to come back and make an ask for support, uh, very f seldom do we hear no, but often this is how we can help you. But it, it is about the networking and it's about having a two way street, not making it a one way street. Right. Um, <clears throat> on, on that uh, point about networking, you guys host. Um, kind of meetups throughout the year, I think uh, different kind of coffee breaks and stuff. Um, can you talk a little bit about some of those um, networking opportunities that, that you facilitate? Um, and if anybody wants to learn more and get involved, uh, how they could go about doing that? Absolutely. So we started uh, with the pandemic, uh, everyone being in lockdown initially, or most places mm -hmm. being in lockdown, we launched what's called uh, the Women in Drones Coffee Connections with Desi and Kim. Uh, Desi and Kim are two of our uh, advisors and ambassadors who are strong supporters and they're both drone pilots. They each own their own drone companies and they said, hey, you know, we're all out here. Let's find a way to have people connect, connect and network online. So we launched it, uh, I want to say back in April and it became, it has become a community. In fact, we just had one yesterday and it's grown to the point that almost 40% of the participants are men, which is great. Yeah. Because what we're talking about is the business of drones and in every aspect. So it's not just uh, drone manufacturers or suppliers. It's every aspect of the drone industry are uh, pockets of discussion. And the nice thing about it is it's not all presentation. We have what's called spotlight speakers. And they come in and give like a 15 to 20 minute overview of their product or services. And it's about it's not so much about selling as it is putting a face to the company. In fact, one of the best compliments we had is that someone said, you know what, I've seen you all at every, them being the presenter, at every conference and just never had the time to talk with you all, or there's so many people around your company, we can't get in and really have a face-to-face. -face. 
And it's nice just to hear who's behind the face of the company and you know what you all do. So uh, it's been really great because they say that we have developed a community and that's really been, that's been nice. So it's not just a bunch of talking heads. And then after the spotlight speaker, we break out into uh, Zoom rooms where we have the topic or issue of the day. And that's where someone has posed a problem that they're dealing with or want to discuss the best practice and want to get input. So it's great. And we've had um, everything from giveaways to auctions to uh, next week, we're actually having our holiday party just to wrap up the, the year. And then we'll kick off again after the first of the year. So do you see that, did this develop under like pandemic conditions and, uh, do you see it continuing even if things start to open up 2021 2022 like do you find that there's so much value in this that it'd be something you'd be interested in continuing doing uh so the answer is yes yes and yes so we (laughs) we launched it with uh out of the need of the pandemic to help the drone community uh, to connect and dialogue uh, we thought when we launched it in April that, oh, okay, we'll do this uh, maybe until the summer where we can all get out and fly and work on projects and people are hiring us and and uh, there's a need to do more, really get back to running our businesses. And the good news is, as you all know, the drone industry really hasn't shut down a whole lot. There hasn't been a whole lot of slowdown, but there has been a continued need to network and to stay connected. Uh, so we're still growing strong. We're already booked dates through early I want to say early February now, and we've got companies coming to us saying, hey, can we get on Coffee Connections? And what's been really great is that I do see it continuing uh, in the current format. Uh, People, they love having an opportunity just to connect with friends and network. And, you know, they're in the room. I mean, they're on the side chatting, exchanging email addresses. So it's just evolved into another form of networking. Right. Right. And, and, you know, networking, I think, especially in, in, in emerging emerging industries and sharing that that knowledge is um, how we're all going to get to where we where we want to go. And that's essentially the interdrone mission statement as well is, is connection and um, creating those relationships and, and, and education. Yeah. If you had told me in April that we'd still be doing it in December and already booked through early February, I said, <laughs> oh, no, we're past the pandemic. We'll move on. But it's uh, it's really struck a, struck an interest in people. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the story of the year in a lot of ways. Um, I mean, we're we're live streaming the podcast a lot now. And I mean, I can't imagine going back because we've discovered new routes to kind of communicating uh, with our audience, actually talking with them live uh, and, and creating that kind of networking. And it's totally not a replacement for the in-person event. But at the same time, I can't imagine not doing this now because I just feel like it'll 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 help things even more once we're able to meet again in in person we will have these kind Mm of newer more more accessible uh entry points for networking that only build the relationships uh sooner right because not everybody's like us where we're willing to invest hundreds of dollars to go to multiple events throughout the year and this this provides an opportunity to kind of start that relationship sooner Mm -hmm. right I totally agree. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could even see these coffee connections um, maybe take place in a live setting uh, in the next year or two. We would love to do that, yeah. especially if we can do it face to face. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, Sharon, so talk to us a little bit about um, Career Connect. So that's something that obviously we're all really excited about um, hosting the first ever Interdrone Career Connect in partnership with Women in Drones. Um, kind of matching up um, some hiring organizations um, with people that are looking to pursue professional careers in the drone industry. Um, You know, I think this is, again, back to connection. I think this is really important. Um, I think there's a lot of people looking for jobs in the drone industry, maybe not sure how to get involved. I think this is a great way to help um, kind of get those relations or build those relationships and get those conversations going. Um, Could you talk to us a little bit about Career Connect? And then I know you guys have the Women in Drones, sorry, Women in Drones job board. I'd like to hear a little bit more about that too. Okay. So yeah, the Inner Drone Career Connect session, as you know, started off as a proof of concept idea to further our efforts in growing the industry. And that's always what's really behind us. How do we grow sectors within within the industry? Pre-pandemic, uh, one of the top inquiries we received at uh, booth at our booth last year, even at Interdrone, 
centered around helping companies find people mm -hmm. with the skills needed to fill their positions. The project was developed to uh, basically uh, it, to be a in-person session at this year's Enerdrone Conference. And then once the format was changed, we made the decision to move forward with an abbreviated virtual, uh, virtual version. So that's what we're going to do next week. Mm -hmm. The focus is to provide a platform to connect employers with job seekers. Uh, for the virtual version, we'll have a few Enerdrone sponsors and exhibitors who are hiring. And so they're featured via the interviews that we're going to uh, support. And uh, we also have job seekers that has signed up on UL's website to be connected with those employers. So the process has changed a little bit because it's virtual, but all along it was about connecting employers within the industry with job seekers. Uh, you mentioned the Women in Drones Jobs Board. Well, you know, we launched that literally right before the pandemic. Uh, you know, so the timing was bad, but it's given us a great opportunity to learn a lot this year. And so we've actually evolved it from the jobs board to a more expansive career center. And it provides an opportunity for job seekers to post their um, resumes confidentially on, on the site. Uh, it is managed by a third party. They get a free resume review. They can look for a variety of jobs. And, and um, also for our corporate members, we do offer them a discount to post on the website. But it's, it's all about furthering the opportunities within, within the industry because I think we all are pretty much sold on this industry is here to stay and it's gonna continually evolve. And so we just wanna be a part of helping it grow. Right, let's help the companies participating in the, in the industry find the right talent and we can, we can grow it um, even faster. Yes. Right. Well, I know we're kind of coming up on time, Sharon. Any final thoughts, words of words of encouragement? I know this has been a crazy year for for everybody, um, drone industry included. Um, any final thoughts as we kind of wrap up 2020? Uh, sure. So, to one of the conversations we had earlier is uh, just keep in mind that your network uh, drives your net worth. Uh, that's one of the things we try and emphasize with individuals is that uh, even though you're stuck at home, let's get out, let's network. Uh, we're doing that online. Uh, but I would say words of encouragement, particularly for those uh, small entrepreneurs out there, uh, is probably needing to pivot now. Uh, if so, don't be afraid to. I, I always say don't be afraid to take the risk. Uh, I'd rather regret the risk that I didn't take rather than the chances I didn't take at all. And then lastly, I would say, uh, think big, start small and scale fast. Thanks, Sharon. I, I think that's great advice for the moment. And um, yeah, I, I think there, there actually there's tons of opportunity for the drone startup today. The one that starts literally right now. I mean, in, in some cases they might have an easier path forward because they have all the learnings from, you know, uh, all the people who've come before them. I mean, we're more established as an industry now. We have a, a vo shared vocabulary. Um, we've seen success and failures. And I think it, this is actually a really great moment to start anything. Um, and it, it, there's lots of opportunity to build something for the moment, uh, especially since people are just thinking in terms of their life um, and what can we automate? What can we reduce human contact for? And uh, I think drones have a great place in that future. Yeah, right. I totally agree. So thank you all again. I appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, thanks so much for, for again for being here. And we'll, we'll put um, some of the links that we spoke about, like the job board, Coffee Connect. We'll put some of those in the description for anybody that uh, that wants to learn more. Um, we uh, will see Sharon and Women in Drones team next week at Interdrone Online. Um, if you are interested in signing up for Interdrone Career Connect, you can do that at interdrone.com slash career connect. We'll put the link in the description um, for that as well. So thanks again for, for tuning in everybody. And we hope to see you all next week at Interdrone Online, December 15th through 17th. Have a great week.